I'm going to do File New. I'm going to open a new window and make that window a UV image editor as before. I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to go to the mesh menu, UV unwrap, and this is what I want to look at, Smart UV Project. I'm going to accept the default values and click OK. I'm going to go to uh, add a new image. I'm going to call the image Cube and change the color from black to a dark green and click OK. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. I'm going to the image menu and turn image painting on. I'm going to in view click properties. That will toggle the side panel or you can click the plus there and if you scroll down there's a panel for paint and I'm going to change the paint color to red and I'm going to paint the numbers on the sides of the cube. Now if I turn texture shading on, you can see the 3 and 6. It looks like the other uh, sides have not been mapped, but they have, they're just in the dark. If you add more lights you will see them. I'm going to do File New. I'm going to delete the default cube. I'm going to add mesh cylinder. I'm going to open up a new window and I'm going to make the new window a UV image editor and I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to the mesh menu and I'm going to use smart UV project again. I'm going to click OK and that isn't bad. We've got one, two, three, four, five groups of faces which in Blender are called islands. Uh, the ideal projection would have three islands, the top, the bottom, and the side unwrapped as one rectangle. I'm going to use Smart UV Project one more time. I'm going to alter one parameter, the island margin. And when I click OK, we actually end up with six islands and a space between them, which is handy for moving things around. I'm going to open the cactus I made earlier. I'm going to go into object mode so that I can apply the subdivision surface modifier. I'm going to open a window which I'm going to make a UV image editor. I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to press the keyboard letter A until I've selected all the faces. In the mesh menu I'm going to UV unwrap smart UV project. I'm going to click OK and I get a quick and easy projection of an irregular 3D shape. I'm going to open the cactus texture image file. I'm going to press the keyboard letter A to select all the vertices. I'm going to press S for scale and make that bigger. I'm going to zoom in on the cactus, put texture shading on, hold down the middle mouse button and drag to rotate the cactus. I'm zooming out with the mouse wheel, pressing S to scale again and making that bigger until we have a reasonable number of thorns in each face. And that's basically a quick and easy method to map a texture to an irregular shape. It gives so-so results. If the more effort you put in you could get better results. You can especially see where you've got a lot of small faces. Uh, there's too many thorns whereas where you've got big faces there's not enough. I'm going to go into object mode. I'm going to turn shading to smooth. I'm going to close the UV window. I'm, if we rendered now we wouldn't get the texture because the texture hasn't been set up. To set it up we go to the material button. It's a good idea to name your materials. 
from the material button we go to the texture button again it's a good idea to name our textures we want type of texture to be image we want preview to be both we pick up the image from this button and coordinates we put to UV now if we go to the render button and render the image we get our texture and if I click here we can go back to 3D view finally for a bit of fun because it is a cartoon cactus I'm going to go to the particles button and add a particle system the type of particle system will be hair I'm going to change the hair length to 0.1 of a blender unit and we get some thorns sticking out of our cactus I put the finished file on my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there thanks for watching and goodbye